everyone. Uh, Master Psychic Lady of Wisdom, the Prophet of the Christ, is here with Christian Gifted Psychics and Holy Witches. Uh, today's date is January the 3rd, 2014, and it's 5.46 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And um, I wanted to get to this uh, very important uh, yet sensitive uh, video for you guys. Um, a lot of you guys were sending emails and um, requests uh, for me to do a video um, about homosexuality versus heterosexuality. Um, you guys were asking me, um, should uh, homosexuals uh, be allowed to become pastors or become ministers? Uh, should uh, homosexuals um, get married? How do I feel about gay marriages? Um, what about Sodom and Gomorrah? Um, what, what does the Bible think? Um, should gays become Christians? Um, what do the churches think? And um, so um, I wanted to um, give you guys what the Word of God says first. Um, so I'm going to get right to this video. Um, the Word of God says in Romans, For all have sinned, all come short of the glory of God. Now with that said, uh, that's in Romans. Now with that said, that simply means all have sinned, not some people, not little people, or um, certain people. And that scripture uh, did not handpick anyone, just said all, everyone, meaning you, me, um, gay, straight, whoever, it doesn't matter who it is. Um, so um, again, um, when it comes to us Christians, I noticed that um, being a minister myself, um, as well as uh, being hired to uh, work certain events at churches and um, different uh, functions, uh, which uh, involves Christians, I noticed that um, a lot of Christians feel that uh, it's okay to lie, it's okay to steal, it's okay to uh, lay down in the bed with a man or another woman. Um, and not be married. It's okay to have sex out of wedlock. Um, it's okay to uh, still. Uh, it's okay to um, uh, backbite uh, within a church and uh, go against your pastor, or go against anybody else that's a minister. Um, now I noticed that when it comes to um, gays or homosexuality, a lot of Christians become very strongly opinionated or uh, become very strong, um, a, a strong prejudice or strong dis discrimination against um, the gay lifestyle. Um, and only thing I would like to say is why? Um, because uh, we're all sinners and um, in the word of God, it tells us that no sin is greater than the next. Whether or not you're, you are a homosexual, whether or not you are a fornicator, uh, meaning laying down a sex without marriage, or whether or not you are an adulterer, meaning having sex outside of wedlock, um, lying, stealing, things of that nature. That's still a sin. Sin is sin. Um, Christ Jesus came to this earth to redeem us, to save us. Um, we should not. We should not have our foot upon our brother, and that's how I feel. I do not feel that. Um, gays, homosexuals uh, should be discriminated against at all. I do not feel that uh, that uh, gays should not wed, should not marry. I feel that love is love. Uh, God created that. Um, love, joy, peace, long-suffering, and understanding. That's the fruits of the Spirit. Now, um, again, I may have several Christians or several different people that may disagree with how I feel. I do not believe in being prejudiced or discriminated against certain people. I do not feel that that's right. I believe in equal rights. I'm very non-judgmental. I do not believe that um, gay should not be allowed to preach or gay should not have their own ministry. I do not believe in that. Um, because uh, Christ, when you look at all the disciples, you had Peter. Who was cursing you had uh judas um who traded you had thomas who doubted um you had john uh, and, and, and you know and, and the thing is um those were all imperfect human beings who christ came to redeem who christ actually allowed to uh uh fall in his glory um and um, and even when it came to Mary Magdalene, the woman who was at the well, and when he told her that she had uh, six husbands, he did not say, oh, well, you know what? 
you slut, you whore, you so and so and so. So he could have said anything. He could have actually judged her right then and there on the spot, flat out. But what he said was, if you would have drank from my fountain, my water, you should never thirst again. So we see how Jesus uh, acted in the situation. He did not um, come down with the spirit of judging. He actually came with the spirit to save, lay down his life so he may take it up again. So this is very important. Um, even though um, um, you may not like anyone that's gay, that's definitely fine as well. However, you have to keep in mind that you have to have the fruit of spirit. You have to practice love joy peace long suffering understanding like us as christians it seems like like we got the shouting the stomping the clapping the worshiping um make it a joyful noise we have all that down pat but love joy peace long suffering and understand we do not have those things we do not know how to forgive we do not know how to stop judging we do not know how to take our foot off our brother off our sisters we do not know how to stop gossiping and things like that so again um if you feel um that someone gay should not marry or should not uh, become a pastor or a minister um okay now that's that that can be a pain however when it comes to judging you have to be mindful of that that's not what we should be here doing and that's how i feel i feel um that um gays should marry if they love each other um just as much as a heterosexual should marry if they love each other yes even though um uh, God created man and woman. That's true. However, um, he also created, a, it was a freedom of choice, a freedom of choice thing that came into play once Adam chose to eat the fruit as well as Eve chose to eat the fruit from the tree, which he told them not to eat from. So again, um, we have to be mindful of these things. And um, also with Sodom and Gomorrah, um, like people would say, oh my God, they, the Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed because they were gay. Actually, Sodom and Gomorrah was actually destroyed because they wasn't repentant. Anytime that angels will blind you and you will still choose to try to go out there and pursue those angels, that's a, a sign of pervertedness, if you ask me. Perversion. So, um, again, um, we as Christians really, really need to be careful here when it comes to uh, judging uh, one another. We really do. So, um, again, hopefully I covered um, everything and I answered all your questions. And thank you guys very much for the overwhelming requests. Thank you guys and I love you guys near.